How's it going, guys? Past level question, repro, step one, ops, guy to CK. 24-year-old woman, when she's occur at a regular 21 to 45 day intervals, BMI 29, physical exam shows mild acne on the face and shoulders. So we clearly have a diagnosis of polycystic ovarian syndrome here. Question wants to know what's most likely to be seen as patients. So before we dive, dive into the answers, you need to know the mechanism is high BMI female means insulin resistance, which causes abnormal GnRH pulsation, leads to a high LH to FSH ratio. It's an up hour for LH, it's a down hour for FSH. Some students think they're both high, it's just the ratios increase, it's wrong. It's actually a down hour for FSH. LH normally acts in the theca interna cells of the ovaries to make androgens. So if LH is high, that's why we get hirsutism. FSH is going to stimulate follicles. So if FSH is low, poor follicular development, graphene follicle won't rupture. It's retained as, a, retained as a cyst, occurs over multiple cycles. We get polycystic appearance of the ovaries. So let's just hop to the answers. Choice A, decreased luteinizing hormone. Wrong fucking answer. As I just said, LH is high in PCOS. Choice B, increased FSH, wrong fucking answer. As I just said, FSH is low in PCOS. Choice C, increased luteal progesterone, wrong fucking answer. Luteal progesterone is decreased. So these women, because the follicles are not maturing appropriately, they are not going to ovulate. Now, normally ovulation, graphene follicle ruptures, we get formation of a corpus luteum, the follicular remnant. The corpus luteum secretes progesterone and Progesterone is the main hormone present during the luteal phase, second half of the menstrual cycle. One of the so clearly progesterone is decreased. You need to know that one of the roles of progesterone, apart from maintaining the endometrial lining for pregnancy if uh, fertilization occurs, is that it also limits growth of endometrium. So if we don't have ovulation, we get what's called unopposed estrogen, where we don't have progesterone to counterbalance the estrogen. Estrogen stimulates endometrium. Progesterone limits growth of endometrium. The result is endometrial hyperplasia, increases the risk for endometrial carcinoma later in life. Choice C, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, islet cell hypertrophy, correct answer. So insulin resistance, okay? I mean, I don't really know what to tell you. You got high BMI, it's gonna lead to increased uh, insulin resistance at cells. And you need to know that in this setting, you're gonna have beta islet cell hypertrophy. Let's just hop through the others. Or the final one, theca interna cellular hypostimulation, wrong fucking answer. When students don't answer, they choose weird sounding shit. So as I said before, lean not using hormone normally acts in the theca interna cells to make androgens. And if LH is high, we would have increased stimulation of the theca interna cells, not decreased. Choice E, wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. Once you make more content, I feel like my stuff, subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.